Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to crochet this little bunny lovey. It's fairly easy to do. I will show you every step of the way and how you do every of these little parts. I've used a crochet hook size three millimeters and I used a tapestry needle. I used some scissors and two safety eyes. And then I used 100% cotton yarn in a size eight four and in all different colors you see the color changes right here i won't show you every color change so you just have to decide how you want your color changes to be your shifts um i do it like this you have to remember this i will leave it so you can see but you just choose your colors yourself so let's begin so for the first round we do a slip knot so make a loop and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop and grab it from the middle with your hook. Then we chain four, the yarn over, pull through four times. That's it. So now we join the ends with a slip stitch in the first chain. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through both. Now we will begin working into this middle in the gap gap in the middle so we chain four one two three four and the three chains counts as one double crochet and this last one counts as one chain so now we do a double crochet into the ring so you yarn over and insert the hook in the middle Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now we created a little, a little gap with one double crochet and one um, chain in between. Now we chain one and do another double crochet into the ring. So yarn over, insert your hook into the ring and do a double crochet. Now you chain one and do a double crochet. So create eight of these double crochet with a chain space. And when you have eight of those, we begin the next row. So now we created this little wheel and we will connect the ends. So we have this counting as the double crochet. So we have eight double crochet and we need to make the last little gap. So you count three, one, two, three, and you have your chain here. So in the third, we insert the hook and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull through. Now we keep connected the ends and we will now work the next round. So you begin with a slip stitch in the first gap. So you insert your hook into the gap, yarn over, pull through, pull through, and then we chain three. So one, two, three. And that counts as the first double crochet. So we do another double crochet into this gap. So you yarn over and insert the hook into this gap and do a double crochet. That's it. Now you chain two, one, two, and do two double crochet into the next gap. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next gap. Do a double crochet. And another double crochet into the same gap where you just did the double crochet. Yep. Then you chain two, one, two, and then do two double crochet into the next gap. So continue all the way around with two double crochet into each and every gap with two chains in between. And we have our second round. 
Now we want to create our last space. So we chain two. So one, two, and then we do slip stitch into this first chains we did that is counting as our first double crochet. So in the third chain, we insert our needle and do a slip stitch and we connect at the ends. So now we have eight little spaces and now we want to move on to this. We want to get over here. So we do a slip stitch in the first double crochet we meet. And we want to get all the way over to this gap. So we do a slip stitch into the gap. So insert your hook into the gap and then do a slip stitch. So now we're ready to be working into this gap and we start with a chain of three. So one, two, three. Then we do another double crochet into this gap. So th this chain three is counting as the first double crochet. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the gap and do a double crochet. Now we chain two, one, two, and do another two double crochet into the same space where we just did the two double crochet. So go ahead and yarn over and insert your hook into the same space and do another double crochet and another double crochet. So two double crochet, chain two, and then another two double crochet into the same space. We move on to the next space and do a double crochet. So just yarn over, no chains in between, just yarn over and insert your hook into the next space. Do a double crochet and then another double crochet into the same space. Then chain two, one, two, and then two double crochet into the same space where we just did the other two double crochet. All right, so now we're already seeing a star forming. So these chain two create this little pointy thing. And each time we go from one space to another, it goes down a bit. So now we are beginning to create these pointy ones. So now you move on to the next gap where you do two double crochet. No, no chains in between. Just go ahead and make two double crochet right away. Then chain two and another two double crochet all the way around. On the other end of the round, we will connect the ends with a slip stitch. So insert your hook in the third chain from your first stitch and do a slip stitch. And we want to move on to the next stitch. So we slip stitch in the next one as well. And now we want to create a double crochet into this. So we chain three and this counts as our double crochet. Now we want to create a pointy thing like these. So we do two double crochet into this space. That's one. And another one in the same space. Then we chain two, one, two, and then another two double crochet into the same gap. And that's it. So now we created the, this pointy thing. And now we want to increase because for each round we will increase. So we have three double crochet here and we want to make another double crochet. So in the first stitch we meet, we will do a double crochet. So yarn over and insert the hook in the first double crochet and do a double crochet. Now we have three double crochet on each side of this gap. 
like we want to create a pointy one going out, we want to create the opposite one that is going in down here. So we will skip the next two stitches and do a double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. So yarn over, count two, and insert your hook in the third stitch and do a double crochet. And then we do this pointy thing with two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into this gap. So chain two, and then another two double crochet into the same space. That's it. Now for the next stitch, we do a double crochet. So we have three double crochet on each side of this gap. Then we skip the next two double crochet, the next two stitches, and do a double crochet into this over here on the other side. Then we make another pointy one with two double crochet into the same space, then chain two and then two double crochet. So keep that all the way around and we will increase further for the next round. And that's our row number four. So we have three double crochet on each side of these gaps all the way around and the pattern from here out, it's actually just the same. It's we will just increase with one double crochet for each round. Now I want to switch color and I just want to show you how before we go to the next round. So we grab the new yarn before we join the ends. Remember for each round we just join with a slip stitch, but we grab the new yarn before we join. So just put it around your finger and insert your hook in the third chain, grab the new yarn, pull through, pull through. So we switched color before we joined the ends because now we are ready to just crochet with this new color. We will do a slip stitch in the next double crochet. We do that every time we begin a new row. Then we chain three, one, two, three. And this is counting as our first double crochet. Then we do another double crochet into the next stitch. And then we do a pointy one, a shell. So yarn over, do two double crochet, then another double crochet. So <laughs> two double crochet in total, then chain two, then another two double crochet into the same gap. And now we want to have four double crochet on either side of this gap. So we have we had three double crochet in this round and now we want to have four. So we do two double crochet instead of only doing one. So in this first stitch we meet, we do a double crochet. And then a double crochet in the next stitch. So we have four double crochet, then we skip the next two double crochet and then we go for this third. So one, two, yarn over, insert your hook in the third and do a double crochet, then a double crochet in the next stitch. And then we do the shell with two double crochet, then chain two, then two double crochet. So you just continue. Like this, I changed color. You decide how you want to do it. I will switch color for each two rounds and we will finish it off like this. So just continue with the same pattern, just increase 
with one double crochet. So the next round we do five double crochet in between each gap and so on. And after we crochet for a while, we have this little star with eight points. And I ended up with 14 double crochets on my final round. And I decided only having one round with the last color. My star measures 31 centimeters from point to point. And now we only need to weave in our ends. And now we will crochet the head, which we will attach right here. For the head, we begin with a magic ring. So take the short end of your yarn and lead it around your index finger three times. Then take your crochet hook underneath all three loops and grab the final one, pull through the other two and fasten your yarn. Pull it off your finger and do six single crochet directly into the ring. So insert your hook in the ring and do a single crochet. Then another single crochet. And then four more. So you have six single crochet in total into the ring. That's four, five, and six. Now we pull them together so they sit tight. Pull this loose end just a little bit just to see which one moves. Then grab the one that moved, pull the other one in, and then take the loose end, the short end, and pull so the final loop disappears. And we have our first round, our six single crochet. Then we connect the ends, insert your hook in the first stitch you did. I did mine a little tight, that's it. And slip stitch. And we are now ready to move on to the next round. For round two, we will do two single crochet in every stitch. So insert your hook in the first one and do a single crochet. And then do another single crochet into the same stitch where you just did the other single crochet. Then move on to the next stitch, insert your hook and do a single crochet. Insert your hook in the same stitch and do another single crochet. Move on to the next and do two single crochet in the same stitch. So continue all the way around with two single crochet in every stitch. And then you should have 12 single crochet in total all the way around. When we have our 12 stitches, we do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then I insert a stitch marker just to keep track because I will be working in spirals, so it's not easy to see when the row or round begins. We begin with one single crochet and then for the next we do an increase and that's two single crochet in the same stitch. So insert your hook and do first one single crochet and then another single crochet in the same stitch. Then for the next stitch we do one single crochet and in the next stitch an increase, so two single crochet in the same stitch. After this round, you should have 18 single crochet all the way around. First one single crochet and then an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Just do like this all the way around. We then remove our stitch marker. Then do a single crochet. And then insert our stitch marker yet again. You don't have to use it, but I find it very helpful. Then another single crochet. So you begin this row, this round four, with two single crochet, and then you do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. So for this round two, you single crochet two, and then an increase. Then two single crochet, 
then an increase. For round row 5, you will do 3 single crochet, then an increase, then 3 single crochet, then an increase. After row 4, you should have 24 stitches, and after row 5, you should have, you should have 30 stitches in total. So I will meet you up when you have 30 stitches all the way around. When you have your 30 stitches, it might seem a little small. Mine is four and a half centimeters, but it will expand when we do the next couple of rounds and it also will expand when we stuff it. So don't worry, it will get bigger. For the next rounds, we will only do one single crochet in every stitch. So we leave our stitch marker and do a single crochet and then insert the stitch marker again. And this is row 6. And from row 6 to row 11, we will do one single crochet in every stitch. So you should keep having 30 stitches for the next many rows until you have 11 rows in total. And after this 11th row, we have this cute little basket and we will now begin closing it up so it will be a round head. We will begin with one single crochet and then insert our stitch marker. Just to keep track. So this is round 12. We will do three single crochet. I just did the first one. Then do another two single crochet. And then we will do a decrease. So insert your hook in the next stitch and begin your single crochet yarn over pull through. But before you finish the stitch, you insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over pull through, and then you finish the stitch, yarn over pull through all three loops. Then you crochet two single crochet together and made a decrease. Then you single crochet three. One, two, three, and then you make another decrease. Insert your hook in the next stitch. And before you finish it, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So again, you pull two single crochet together and you can already see it begin curving in. I think it's easier if we turn it inside out now, so we have the right side out. Begin because we will begin decreasing a lot from here on. Continue all the way around, three single crochet, then a decrease. And in the end you should have 24 stitches. And after this round, I will now insert my safety eyes. So I take out my needle and then I count. Six round from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will insert one eye after this sixth. And then follow the line. Insert the other one. Like this. And then secure it on the back side. With these ones. That's it. So now we are ready for row 13. I just did my first single crochet just to insert my stitch marker again. So we will do two single crochet. So that's the first one. And I will do another single crochet. And then a decrease. Insert the needle. Begin the first single crochet. Stop. Insert the needle in the next. And finish your single crochet. So you take two together. And that's a uh, decrease. Sorry. Crochet. Two single crochet, two, and then a decrease, begin, move on to the next, and then finish it off. 
continue all the way around and you should have 18 stitches when you're done. And we are getting to the end for row 14. We will do one single crochet and then a decrease. So two single crochet together. Remember your stitch marker for the final time. So one single crochet and one decrease or decrease. I don't know how you pronounce it properly. You can stuff your head in the process of this round if you feel like it or you can wait. I will begin stuffing it now and then stuff it a bit more at the end. That was a decrease, then one single crochet and you have to pull it a bit to make it tight in the end so it will really pull together. After this round you should have 12 single crochet and when you have 12 stitches you remove your stitch marker for the last time and from here on <laughs> from here on out you just decrease in every stitch so two single crochet together in every stitch so you keep decreasing until you have your six, six stitches left or how much you are able to decrease or you can just weave in the ends and pull it together with a tapestry needle in the end how much you want to continue doing this. I will do one more and that's it. So then cut the yarn and leave a long tail, pull it through and you have your little head. And now for the ears, we begin with a magic ring. So wrap the yarn around your finger three times. Push your needle in, grab the last one and secure the yarn. Then we single crochet five in the ring. So we just do five single crochet in the ring. That's three. Four and five. Then we push them together and finish up the magic ring with the magic happen. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Then we do one single crochet in the first stitch. And then for the next stitch we also single crochet and the next two so one single crochet and then a single crochet in the next one so four single crochet then we do an increase so first we do a single crochet in the next stitch and then we do another single crochet in the same stitch so insert your hook in the same stitch where we just did the single crochet, do another single crochet. Then we do a regular single crochet in the next stitch. And the work will already begin to bend right now because we aren't increasing a lot. So I will already now turn it inside out or outside in <laughs> so it becomes pointy at the end at the top before I move on to the next stitch where I will do an increase insert the needle do a single crochet then another single crochet in the same stitch 
then a regular single crochet in the next one, and then an increase in the next one. So two single crochet in the same stitch. So to sum up, we do a magic ring with five single crochet, then we do four regular single crochet, and then we do an increase, then a single crochet, then an increase, then a single crochet, and keep this until we have 13 stitches all around. So one increase, one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, until we have 13 in total. When we have increased until we have 13 stitches, we will do one single crochet in every stitch. So we will just continue working in rounds with one single crochet in every stitch until we have 10 rows. This is the first row or round. This is the second, third, fourth. When we have 10, we begin decreasing. But for now, one single crochet in every stitch until we have 10 rows. When we count 10 rows, we do one decrease. So we do two single crochet together. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then stop. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and now we finish the stitch, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then do two regular single crochet, one, two, and then another decrease, insert the hook, stop, in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then finish the stitch, pulling all three together. Then do regular two single crochet, and then a decrease, insert your hook, step, next stitch, begin the stitch, and then finish it off. So now we decrease three, and we should have 10 stitches, so you may count 10 stitches in the round, then continue for five more rows, or actually four, so we have 15 rows in total. And when we have the 15 rounds, we will snip the yarn, leave a long tail, pull the needle through, and we can push it together and do like this and see it becoming an ear. So now you make two of those. For the arms, we begin with a magic ring. So take the short end of your yarn and wrap it around your finger three times. Then insert your needle underneath all the three, grab this one and pull through. Secure the yarn. And then single crochet six around the ring. So insert your hook directly into the ring and do six single crochet. That's three, four, five, and six. Then we pull them together so they sit tight. Pull this short end. Pull it together. And that's it. Now we do one single crochet. So Find your first stitch. It is a bit tight. Do a single crochet in the first one. And another single crochet in the same stitch. Then go for the next one. Do a single crochet. And another single crochet in the same stitch. So you increase one every time you do two single crochet in the same stitch and we keep increasing one in every stitch until we have 11 single crochet in total. So you just do two single crochet in every stitch until you have 11 single crochet all the way around. All the way around you single crochet one single crochet in every stitch 
and you continue until you have six rows in total or six rounds. So just one single crochet in every stitch until you have six rows. And this one in the middle counts as the first one. This is the second. You continue until you have six. And I have six rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I do one decrease. So I insert the hook in the next stitch, wrap the yarn around and stop. Then go for the next stitch, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. And now I finish the stitch with a yarn over and pull through all of them. So now I made two single crochet to, to one single crochet. Now I will single crochet four, one, two, three and four. And I will make another decrease. So begin the first stitch. We yarn over, pull through and stop. Insert the hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. And now I finish the stitch. Yarn over, pull through all of them. Now we made two decreases. We should have nine stitches all the way around. And we will now continue with one single crochet in every stitch around and around until you have 14 rows. And when you have your 14 rows, we are done with the arm. So grab your scissors, snip the yarn, leave a long tail for the attaching, then pull it all the way through and make two of those. So now I want to attach the ears to the head. So I grab my tapestry needle and I thread one of the ears. And now I want to make it a little bit flat up here so it doesn't go like this. I think it's more cute if it if it's flat. So I insert my hook just to weave in this last end. And then I just follow up the stitches, insert the hook in between two of the rows and on the other side in between two rows and go up a good amount of, of rows and on the other side insert your hook a row up and don't tighten it too much just a little bit and just keep doing this just to keep the the two sides together so they're flat all the way to the top like this and all the way back just the same not too tight and when we're all the way down, we have a flat ear and I then push it together on the bottom and then I sew them together so they keep, they keep being pushed together just a little bit up half a centimeter just like this so it holds the shape. And I want my needle to be at the bottom again. And then I grab the head. Find where I want my ear to be. There. And then I sew it. Um, I attach the ear to the head. And this can be quite difficult. I'm my own worst judge. 
think this is the best place I'm able to find. So just all the way around. I do it twice. All the way around the ear twice. So it's really safe for the baby to to pull and it can be washed. And when I'm done, I secure the yarn on the back side. And we cut the yarn. And that's one. Now you do the same with the other ear. And now when the ears are attached, I want my bunny to have a little nose. I pick the black yarn and I will attach it on the bottom because this will not be visible in the end. Then I go up from the inside where I want my nose to be, just about here. And I weave on a nose just with the yarn and my needle. Just over and over until we are satisfied with the nose. I want to add a little bow, so make a slip knot. And then chain 16. So yarn over, pull through, chain 16. Then begin from the second chain, do a single crochet, and single crochet, one single crochet in every stitch, all the way across and do four rows of single crochet. And when you're done, you leave a long, long tail. Cut it. Pull your yarn through. And then thread your needle. And connect your ends and make a light seam all the way to the bottom. So the end is attached, the ends, and you do like this. So the ugly part is in the middle and this is where the bow will do like this, will crop. Now you take your needle and insert on the bottom, go through both layers and then up somewhere in the middle, pull, then again down, and up through the top. And you pull it. And then we just wrap the yarn around the bow pretty tight. So the middle part will be cropped like this. And you just wrap it a couple of times until you are satisfied with the look. I think this looks cute. Now we secure it on the back side of the bow. And we are now ready to attach. And of course you attach it 
somewhere on the ear where you want it to be. So you just, whoops, sorry. So you just sew it on just where you want your little bow to be. And now I attach the bow to the head and you, as you see, I did a little mouth instead of the nose. I wasn't satisfied. I really hate doing this embroidering. <laughs> so now I think it's really cute. But now we'll attach the head to this one. So we grab our tapestry needle and And then we place the head on the middle part like this and we just insert the needle through the whole thing and then up again and just sew it up all the way around and after that we'll attach the arms and we just go ahead and attach them. We don't stuff them and we don't make them flat like the ears. I only weave in to get started and then I attach it right about here, just close to the neck. And just make sure to get both this and the head attached to the arm so it will uh, be far <laughs> secured sorry and after the attaching of both arms we are actually done with our little bunny lovey it's very cute i hope you found the tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hope to see you again soon bye